catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of March 7th. What kind of a difference can you make by choosing a career in public service? That was the topic at a conference organized by the University of Texas at Austin's Annette Strauss Institute for Civic Life and hosted at the University of Texas at San Antonio's College of Public Policy. During the day-long event, local leaders and recent graduates generously shared their experience and their advice to help students make career choices. Find something that needs fixing and do something about it, suggested Ray Saldana, who was the youngest person ever elected to the San Antonio City Council when he took office four years ago. Former Texas House Representative Mike Villarreal, who ran unsuccessfully for San Antonio mayor in 2015, had this suggestion. That, you know, if, if you could figure this out, you would be a part of a, uh, a well sought after group, and that is, if you could be able to both analyze data and then effectively communicate and share your insights to a group of people that shapes their ability to make group decisions better, that would be a really Go to nowcastsa.com to learn more. In the March 1st primary election in Bear County, 133,000 Republicans and 116,000 Democrats cast ballots with an overall voter turnout of 25%. One out of four registered voters casting a ballot doesn't sound like a lot, but check this out. For the last dozen years, Bear County has had an 80% voter registration rate and about a 12% voter turnout. That means one out of eight registered voters actually made it to the polls. What can we do to improve that? Move all city elections to November, says Ron Nirenberg, and listen to what the councilman has to say. This is not an anomaly, but a larger trend in San Antonio that we can remedy, we can do better, and we have to. Each vote cast is an investment in our future, and the proposal to move our elections to uh, November to help boost civic engagement it is an easy step toward greater participation and more significant community input. As I mentioned, the city of Austin recently switched its municipal elections from May to November, yielding an increase in voter turnout. Learn more at Nowcast SA. In January, you got to see San Antonio from space, thanks to astronaut Scott Kelly, who sent photos from his Twitter account during the year he was commander of the International Space Station. On March 8th and March 9th, no matter where you are, you can watch a live stream of a total eclipse of the sun over the middle of the Pacific Ocean, thanks to National Geographic and the robotic telescope service, slow.com. While you're waiting, go to Nowcast SA and check out the video the slow telescope captured of last fall's eclipse of the mega harvest moon. Did you or your household earn $60,000 or less in 2015? If so, you're entitled to free help preparing your taxes. And you guessed it, we have a map for that. Go to Nowcast SA to see a map of all of the volunteer income tax assistance offices in San Antonio area, along with hours and directions. Our story also has a list of documents you need to bring when you go. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.